own prospects Ben Sahaf and Noah Esenge flashed their potential against the NBA competition. This is Florence Ceiling, let's break them down. Let's start with Ben Sahaf from Israel who can play both guard positions. Sahaf really started generating buzz this summer with Israel's under-18 team, although he'd shown his upside before that too. The 18-year-old can definitely score the ball. He had 16 points in 33 minutes against the Trailblazers. Sahaf's shot looks good, and half of his main shots in this game were open catch-and-shoot threes. He can make these types of triples, and other than that, the own prospect likes to get to the elbows and free throw line for his lefty pull-up. Sahaf is typically smooth, he's more under control and operating at his own pace rather than exploding past defenders, but in the second half against Portland, I thought he fizzled out, only scoring 5 points. Of course, we should consider that Sahaf is already playing a competitive schedule in Germany and Europe and that this game came after a long flight. Sahaf is a solid passer who can play the 1 and the 2, although I see him as a little bit more of the latter right now. He can make some reads and even be creative as a playmaker, but I have concerns about how Sahaf operates in traffic and versus length. This is also the case when it comes to his finishing and his self-creation. My main concern is how the Israel prospect gets to his spots consistently in the NBA. Sahaf has deceleration skills, but he lacks twitch, burst, and pop, so he will need to learn to apply that slow final step in the league. Against Portland, Sahaf struggled to beat his man, which has also been the case at times in Germany and in Europe. This is not disqualifying, but it is a concern for me. Plus, I'm still unsure about his defensive upside. Sahaf can play in the passing lanes and such, and also, I think his motor is better than given credit for. But in general, he's not that athletic, and he doesn't change directions very well on this end of the floor. In this game, Scoot Henderson was blowing past Sahaf time and time again. As of now, I see Ben Sahaf as a first round prospect, but in the late teens or early 20s to start. Noe Senge is a 17 year old forward with a lot of tools, defensive upside, and increasingly interesting offensive flashes. What stood out about Senge's performance versus Portland was how expansive he was on the ball. Just a few seasons ago, Esenge's offensive repertoire was much more basic, but he has gradually polished and been empowered to expand his skill set. He still has a ways to go, and this was sort of amplified in an exhibition style game like this one. Esenge took 14 shots, which usually won't be the case, but the French prospect has been productive. Against the Blazers, he had 20 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, and also 3 turnovers and 5 fouls. Esenge took 6 threes and made 3 of those attempts. These weren't easy, wide open spot ups either. And with Esenge starting to convert from 3 more regularly in Europe as well, I'm starting to buy his shot. The rest of his offensive game was more of a mixed bag and pretty experimental in this setting. Currently, my main concern about Esenge is how he scores in the NBA consistently since the league does not want offensive non-factors. Esenge has a good motor and he shows a wide variety of flashes, but he needs to raise and then maintain his production while cleaning up the process. Despite the glimpses, Noah has not proven that he can shoot yet and he is also definitely not a self-creation guy. Esenge is more of a 4, who could even get reps at the 3, but at times, his offensive skill set resembles that of a 5. On top of that, the French prospect needs to get stronger, although he has overcome that with his motor and ability to make multiple efforts to a degree. Finally, Esenge displayed some vision as a passer. He made decisions, and this ties into his overall production and how he can do a bit of everything. 
Still, there is a risk of SNG not truly having a go-to in terms of a clear role because he doesn't quite excel at any one thing. He's going to be solid in general, but there is also a need to get better across the board. Defensively, I want to see more production still. SNG averages less than 2 stocks per game in all competitions this season, and I want to see him be more disruptive. This especially applies around the basket, where he needs to assert himself and be more impactful. Against Portland, SNG was slow to react sometimes against the NBA competition, but the 17-year-old also got a couple of stops. Currently, very early in the draft cycle, I have Essinge in the early to mid-teens.